So, you want to be a psych NP, but you don't know how. Well, you're in luck. In this video, I'm going to be going over specifically how to become a psych NP and my recommendations on how to become a great psych NP. So stay tuned. Welcome back, Psych Dude family. It's good seeing each and every one of you guys today. If you are new to this channel, I'm the Psych Dude. I'm a board certified psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. And in this channel, I go over several different subjects to educate the public about mental health, ways to improve your lifestyle, and topics related to nursing and specifically nurse practitioners. And if you are interested in more about my life, don't forget to subscribe. Click the like button and follow me on Instagram at the Psych Dude. So, you want to become a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner like myself. And amazing. And honestly, there's not that many videos out there explaining what the route is in order for you to become a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. There's so many different videos out there explaining, oh, this is how you become an MD, this is how you become an LCSW, this is how you be an LMFT, this is how you become an engineer, but not specifically how to become a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. And honestly, I wish I would have had something like this just so I could know which route I'm gonna take, what the fastest route is, and what the correct steps in order for me to become a psych NP. So let's get started. So the basis of it all is you actually have to be RN. No matter what, you have to be RN. You have to have your registered nurse license and you have to be either practicing or just licensed at all. And that step, that's when you can decide what you want to do next. And you can either get your ADN, you can get your BSN, or you can get your entry level MSN. So those are the three venues in order for you to become an RN. So ADN, which is Associates in Nursing, BSN, which is Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and then MSN, which is your entry level typically for people that have a degree in something else that want to become nurses, is when they get their Master of Science in Nursing and either they do it in an NP route, or they go the CNL route, or they go like a leadership route, one of those different options. So once you go those routes, and that's when you can become an RN. And once you're fully licensed, taking the NCLEX and fully licensed, my biggest thing is for you to go get experience. You have to get experience. And I know I'm gonna go off topic on this, but I wanna give you my reasoning for why you need experience. And not only in psych, but also in another field. The reason being is because in psych, you need to learn the behaviors. You need to learn the medications. You need to learn how to deal with psych patients because if you can't even do with that, then what's the point of you being a psych NP if you can't even deal with these nurses or you get easily aggravated, easily irritated at patients and you really don't have any patients, then I would suggest going this route. But just so you have a basic foundation and knowledge base and how to take care of these patients, I would say get about two years of experience and then go from there. But along with those two years of experience, I would say get experience on the other side meaning the medical side. You need to get experience on the medical side. Reason being is because you don't want to be one of those psych NPs or one of those psychiatrists out there that only know psych and don't necessarily know the medical side of it and you're only treating the psych portion but you may very well have if you treated the medical side this would have prevented the psych side so it's one of those things yes I've come across many psych NPs and many psychiatrists that didn't necessarily rule out the medical side and honestly just stuck to the psych side and were getting nowhere and if they just really looked on the medical side ruled that out then they probably would have prevented the whole psychiatric experience but that's for another day another topic but i'm not saying that some psychiatrists are bad and some these psych nps are bad also i'm just saying you should get some psych experience along with medical experience just so you can be well-rounded and i'm not saying that you shouldn't just stick to psych because you know you're going to be psych because you can be a really good psychiatric nurse practitioner but you have to kind of bust your butt in order for you to get the medical side of it, in order for you to have that knowledge base to be able to recognize, okay, this is medical and I need to treat this medically or or this is their medications. These are me their uh, 
medications for like certain disorders and this can interact with psychiatric medications blah 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 so those that's the reason being why you need to actually get that experience and sometimes for those individuals that don't have this experience on the medical side they do miss things and honestly i wish i would have had more psych experience plus more medical experience just so i can be a little bit more well-rounded but luckily i was able to get two years of both and just went from there Anyways, once you get that experience, the next route is applying to Psychiatric Mental Health Nurse Practitioner School. When you apply to Psychiatric Mental Health Nurse Practitioner School, there's two routes. You can either do the MSN route, which is a Master of Science in Nursing, or you can go the DNP route, which is a Doctor of Nursing Practice and with an emphasis in Nurse Practitioner Psychiatric Mental Health Specialty. So when you go that route, then you get to choose on which program you want to go to. One's a little bit longer than the other, and one's a little bit more costly compared to the other, but at the same time, you'll be able to get it done. Honestly, if I were going to do it all over again, and I, was, I got my entry-level master's in nursing and clinical nurse leader, and then I went to go get my post-master's at... Um, in psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner and then now I'm in DMP program because I my personal reasons why I want to get my DMP but if I were to do it all over again I honestly would have just went the entry level master side and then went on and got my DNP with a specialty in psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner role and that I probably would have just done that route and it would have been a lot easier so let's break it down so you're pre-nursing and you're wanting to figure out how what the best route is for you to become a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner honestly in this route i probably would just go bsn get your bsn uh, that's going to take you about four years including your prereqs and then getting some experience and then applying to a either entry level or either a masters of science in nursing for a psych np or going to dnp route if you feel like you want to go to DNP and this is like you want your terminal degree and you don't ever want to go back to school ever again which a lot of us don't then probably just go the DNP route and just get it over with but say for example you're already um, you have your BSN or you have your entry level masters and you can't decide whether or not you which route you want to take and honestly it all depends on your preference which pretty much comes down to that question oh do I want my DNP, do I want my PhD, or do I just want my level masters in order for becoming a psych NP? And that's your decision to make. I have my personal reasons on why I did it, but those are pretty much the routes. It's, it's not that hard to become a psych NP or like, there's not really that many complicated steps to becoming a psych NP. It just where you're gonna start off in in nursing. That's the biggest question because if you have your ADN, you, then you have to get your BSN. There's no way to st skip it from like ADN to MSN. There might be some schools that do do it, but majority of the time, it's not gonna give you that MSN with the Psych NP. It's more than likely gonna give you like MSN and leadership, something like that. So my recommendation from ADN go to BSN, and then for BSN go to DNP or MSN or you can go to ADN, BSN, or ADN, MSN, leadership, and then postmasters and psych NP or DNP and psych NP. It's one of those things, and there's so many different options, but I think the most complicated one is whether or not how you're going to become a nurse. You can either choose your ADN, BSN, MSN, and from there, you just have to get your, or you just have to get your MSN or get your DNP, and then make sure you specialize at a program that gives you that's a Psych NP program, and that's it. Once you do that, take the course, take all of your classes take the test get licensed and you'll be practicing like one of us and if you yeah that's pretty much the gist of it if you guys have any questions concerns or anything like that please definitely leave a comment down below asking me any questions and if you want to collaborate on any of these videos as you know i do have a spotlight series and i am going to be coming out with more videos on that spotlight series but i would love 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 to collaborate with any one of you guys just please send me an email the psych dude one at gmail.com or just leave a comment down below and then we can collaborate and figure out how we want to do and go about making a video together as always have a wonderful day guys 
And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And follow me on Instagram at the psych dude. Like always, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And thank you for your continued support. Bye.